Oblique Seville is injured. And Akeem Blake is out. Plus, we take a quick look at the Rome Diamond League. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, they're ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, first up this weekend happening is the Golden Gala, better known as the Rome Diamond League, which features some of the top tier athletes in the world, including uh, Dina Asher Smith. You know, we're big fans of Dina Asher Smith, uh, Marie Jose Talou, Jamaica's uh, Rochelle Clayton, and uh, Candice McLeod, uh, uh, Fred Curley, and others. The Diamond Leagues have been pretty, pretty, pretty interesting thus far from the 2023 season. I, this this may be, I think, the second or the third. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing this. We'll be going to talk about it in a few other videos. But for the reason you clicked on the video, yes, you heard me right. The uh, young phenom in the men's 100 meters, the gentleman who came fourth last year in the World Championships, just off the podium last year, the remarkable oblique Seville of racers. Well, he is injured. Now, the last time, well, one of the last times we saw him was, of course, at the National Stadium at the All Comers, where he sparkled. This was All Comers number three in the men's 100 meters. Seville ran 9.94 to win ahead of Rohan Watson, who ran 10.12 to take the second spot. And Johan Blake came third with a time of 10.15. These, of course, were timed finals. It was a great 100 meter. Away they go, Johan Blake on the ball, so too did Oblique Seville. Oblique Seville ahead of Johan Blake. Oblique Seville coming to the world. 993. The wind is legal at positive one point. And of course, this young man, Akeem Blake, who just ran a new PB at the LA Grand Prix which happened over the weekend last Saturday, running a new personal best, a new personal record of 9.89 and taking the scalp of Christian Coleman in the process. This, of course, was in the men's 100 meters. Blake won in 9.89, a PB ahead of, of Crevant Charleston of the United States, who ran also a new personal best of 9.91, and Christian Coleman, of, obviously, of the United States, who ran 9.9, and also take the third spot. Both of Jamaica's two fastest youngsters in the men's 100 meters will be out of the much talked about Racers Grand Prix, which happens at the National Stadium uh, on June the 6th. That's next weekend. The meeting organizers, which includes, of course, the great coach Glenn Mills, have confirmed that Oblique Seville has been ruled out by a hamstring injury while blake who just clocked a career's best of 9.89 seconds to defeat former world champion american christian coleman is suffering from fatigue not surprised um running that sub 9.9 uh well more accurately 9.89 could not have you know been easy whoa 
now this of course is my two cents i've been talking about both these young men for quite some time obviously i started to talk about oblique civil before i started to talk about this young man who you're looking at currently akeem blake akeem blake's 9.89 and taking down christian coleman in a decisive manner and the manner in which he took him down which of course means that he has uh, he used to overextend uh, towards the end of his races when he felt under pressure means that he's grown he's focused um he stride right to the line looked immaculate reeled coleman back in remember coleman may be the fastest person out of the blocks at this point uh coleman was ahead by a good five meters and over the course of the 100 meters this young man pulled him back in and was rewarded with a season's best and a personal best a remarkable uh 9.89 so him being exhausted i'm not surprised about you know i have in the past talked about what they call the olympic blues where athletes who run these remarkable times over a year the following year tend to not do very well but not the quite the same thing here but what i'm saying is obviously it's going to take a lot out of you to run that fast i mean i know it might not seem it because it's just 10 seconds roughly but it probably took a lot, a lot out of him so this is good in the sense that uh, bad in the sense that he will not be available for races grand prix which really is all about showcasing jamaican talent and he's one of the talents that we definitely want to showcase to the world um but the good thing is that clearly he can obviously recover given enough time a week or so he'll be fine so i am not so concerned about that just disappointed however the news of a hamstring injury regarding this young man, Oblique Seville, who I think is our greatest hope of hitting that top three at World Championships. Now, that is very concerning news to me. Like I said, I am a big believer in Akeem Blake, uh, but his is exhaustion. One can recover with proper rest, but a hamstring injury is a hamstring injury. Now, we don't know the extent of the injury. It could be something severe or it could be something slight and you're just being cautious. So, since I have no idea as to the extent of the injury, it's going to be really hard for me to talk about this. But clearly, an injury is far something very different from just one suffering from exhaustion. So, of course, I'm disappointed that we will not be able to see either of these young men race at the Racers Grand Prix next weekend. Um, but... I am more concerned about the fact that Oblique Seville, who so far is our fastest athlete for the 2023 season and one of the top fastest in the world so far for the 2023 season, has a hamstring injury. And, um, you know, we always talk about injuries, people. It's not just about recovering physiologically, but also recovering psychologically. So I'm hoping that this is nothing serious. I'm going to see if I can uh, do some more in-depth uh, um I, what what I call it? I'm, I'm just going to try and find out from my sources how bad this injury is and if it's something that we need to be concerned about. So there you have it. Neither are two fastest at this point for the 2023 season. Neither Oblique Seville, who is, has a hamstring injury, as confirmed by his coach Glenn Mills and uh, the people, the organizers of races, the Racers uh, Grand Prix. Am I correct in that? Is that the correct name? Um, is injured meanwhile um akeem blake is uh, suffering from fatigue having extended himself to run that new personal best of 9.89 so neither of these two remarkable young men will be available but this of course is my two cents i'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button. remember your royals kings and queens bless up